my dear friends, and I, I emphasize my dear friends. Uh, most of you I would not know by name, but a good number, I can, I, the faces are familiar. But uh, when I say dear friend, the, the underlying meaning with that is that when I heard of this special gathering, I was so excited. Uh, and I, believe me, I'm so happy to be given this chance to be, to be with you for this Kapihan uh, PIA special gathering and I given by, by Maan, our, our uh, part of the uh, SOCOM uh, group of the Archdiocese. She told me uh, uh, um, special partners for this special gathering are one, Philippine Information Agency, Davao Region. That's one. The second, the Abutis Power, Davao Light, uh, and, and Power Company Incorporated, and Apo Agua. And that, that this, this place is there. So, so gracious, more than willing to be the venue of this special gathering. And Kapisana uh, ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas. Uh, so, uh, very distinct groups. And uh, I I'm happy that these entities are the forward, forward people who gave the impetus that will be gathered here today. Now, I, I was told by, by, uh, by uh, Mr. Milan that this morning, uh, uh, Brother Mike from Digos, is that correct? Uh, came to, to share. Yes, yes. Huh? Yeah, 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 yes, of, of Digos, no? And he, he told me that Mulakaw siya kay muli birthday sa iyang obispo. Ang obispo sa Digos, Bishop uh, Apabli, classmate, the same age. So the age of Apabli is, is my age. Now, that gave me a good, good starting point. When we were studying at the seminary with Bishop Jimmy of Digos, there was a popular line that somehow summarized the orientation of priests to be. And this is the line. I think it's a quote from some theologian, and the line goes this way. <laughs> the challenge for us, but for us, <laughs> that a lot of time we're still in formation. The challenge is, colon, to bring the gospel to the marketplace. So that's the cry. Bring the gospel to the marketplace. Jimmy knows that of Digos. And therefore, <clears throat> my dear friends, oh, I'm excited to go to the cathedral. Yesterday, a big thing at the cathedral, Palm Sunday, and other celebration, Holy Week, it, it will be there. But today, I remember, the challenge is not only to proclaim the gospel, the euangelion in Greek, the good news, not only in the cathedral, not only in chapels, but to the marketplace of today's world. So I said, I go back to what I said, I'm excited, remembering the tag, that line, because today, with you, I am in the marketplace. I am in the marketplace of people who, using the, the modern term, who are, can I use it? Influencers. Uh, the marketplace is where people are. Uh, and largely, I can, I can, I, I, I would dare say that you influence because with your ideas in business, in the business of news gathering, somehow, somewhere, you form people in formation. You form the minds and hearts of people. Now here, I, I, would, I, would, I would continue by saying, how do we bring from our side uh, the gospel to the marketplace? 
That's a challenge. Now, I'll be for, for you, I, you I, your people well read. You know quite a part of history. There was a time that people like me from the leadership of church, priests, and bishops, sisters, long history, church, 2,000 years. There was a long period when we come and impose and speak and tell you, you believe, because if you don't, you die, you go to hell. That's very true. But gone are those days. Gone are those days. That was the style of the time. But today, when we go to the marketplace, we go to engage in conversation. We go to offer, and gently, and patiently, and humbly, not impose, but humbly, just bring to you in the marketplace power, business, Dabao is attractive, but just bring to you today, I'm happy to be here, mga key people, just bring my piece of good news, I hope. Something I'm convinced, but I can't impose on you. Simply, I just have to be patient and somehow become rational and hopefully convincing. But I would not start from zero because I believe maybe not all Catholics that I'm prepared, but somehow, like if we take Davao, uh, we take Davao, I, I would dare say that the people of Davao are still people with a very good sense of God. Faith in the wider, wider sense. Sense of God. That somehow we can still connect when we talk about the good news. The good news coming from the Lord. You and I, we are in the business of, of working for the common good. But let me go on, my dear friends, that that is not only our business. My argument, my, my point is, please, when you talk about the influencer, when you talk about the good of the common people, Ako nga pare, obispo, please remember, di na ko hambo, kaya at the middle ages, you believe, kaya ba yung perno mo, now, kalma lang ko, please, listen, that the Lord, the Lord, the Creator, una siya may plano, for the good of us. And gently, I would humbly say, please know, that it is wise for us, now, this one would not make sense if we don't have faith. But in faith, it would be wise for us to look around and see if our plans for the good of our people would be in accordance with the plan of somebody who is the master planner. Kuya man ang master planner, born executor. But better, he who has no doubt has the good of us in his heart and mind. The goodness of God. The euangelion. The good. <clears throat> I am aware as a Catholic priest that we are intensely now, and many of you are British Catholic, we are now into Holy Week. Patapos na ang Lent. <clears throat> but let me give a thing useful preview uh, of, of, of Quaresma. <clears throat> and I just go back to... And, among gospel readings, chin change na simbahan, mga, mga nanay giya ba? But uh, to tell you also that the first Sunday of Lent, the Sunday after Ash Wednesday, ang gospel reading is permanent. We are told that unchangeable na. And the gospel reading, if you remember, first Sunday of Lent was the temptation, or plural, temptations of Jesus. I always remember that gospel constant na uh, sa, sa changing arrangements and readings. Because one day, uh, I remember that, that Sunday, I was serving some buanga. 
huge crowd, first Sunday of Lent in Sambuanga. Those of you who know uh, Sambuanga at the Fort Pilar. And at that time, medyo uh, basketball prayer pa ko. Murag, medyo kwang ko, may vibes ako ba? Kay Malasun mga kausahay. Bisa gani, mga drama, Malasun ako, pero katumpro, kahay kay ko ba? Oh. So, nagwali ko. Medyo, I said, ganang ko sa kong wali. Ang kong kaoban nga pare, at that time, he's a bishop now of, of Zamwanga, Bishop Cuevas. But, siya nagsumaray sa kong wali. Because I gave a line in that, by stroke of luck, not by genius. Gracias sa gino. I said, I said in that, in that mass, if you know who you are, quite sure of who you are, then you would know also quickly who you are not. But kung dili klaro, hindi klaro, ah, balik-balik na, balik-balik. But if you know who you are, for example, that you know that you are pink, for sure you would know kung blue ang color. If you know that red, you know. But why klaro yung mong color? Lisod, no? So if you know who you are, quickly you would know what are not proper for you. And that was the temptation of Jesus. And yet, uh, because the, the devil was trying to tell him, if I may quickly review, no, kaon gigutom ka. Then he no, be careful. As if you, Satan, you are defining man by the stomach. But Satan, let me define you who I am. I don't survive by bread alone. I survive by the grace of God. So there, in the temptation, Jesus showed who we are. And deeply for today, simply during Lent, and for your marketplace, that the man and woman that we serve, usually the blinds get blurred, but this is my proposal, that's why I'm here, that man is the image and likeness of God. So whatever we do, influencers, whatever we plan, and I, 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 I submit all, all of us are sincere, well-meaning, but let's, my humble contribution, always consider in a common effort the character of this person that we serve. He is not only defined by what we see, what we hear, <clears throat> the definition of who he is, is eternal. If we miss that definition of who we are, then the rest will not follow. I was reading today some news, and it has been a different meaning, but grabe ang yang take of the news. Japan is closing a good number of the schools, Japan. Maybe you could Google that. Why? Wala na mga bata. Japan is in deep crisis. They're so wealthy, <clears throat> but for what? Kung sure ka na pakasulti, wala na yung no bilin. From now, wala na yung Na Japan, siguro wala na yung Basta ibu puli tutanan dito sa Japan, kita yung muyo. Dili ni opinion ni Valles. It's, it's news. It's fact. If I may dare to say, miscalculated, misdefinition of who we are, misplanning that we can do this in the future because this is our take of who man is, forgot to see the definition of who we are. So, my in town, my contribution, you are your people who make decisions, who inform people. But, I won't hang you on good news. Please, from time to time, in the way you serve our people, please do not forget what they call the transcendental character of the person. 
unsana sa simple kayo, mao ni Jesus. Oh, Satanas, abi ni mo og tiyan ray prinsa sa tao dili. He's he's more than what we could measure. That is why, my dear friends, as we enter into Holy Week. The signs and symbols of the Christian faith in the whole week, we know very well. But I just, I just wonder if we take that seriously into the consideration of who we are, because at the center of Holy Week is the death of Jesus. Death. By any means, but is defined by the world as failure. Not to gain is defined by the world as failure. Holy Week, we see the power of the world and the seeming failure of somebody who holds the transcendental character of the human person. The good, the happiness, the future that we all long for. I'd like to believe, and this is our contribution to the bigger con conversation. I believe should be figured out in the way of the cross. How will I translate that? Bringing the good news to the marketplace. Humbly again, kimado kung style mo rako nagwali niyo ba pero ako lang don sulti ba no? In the whole planning, pulling of wisdom, the particular way of the cross. It's not an important ingredient. That's why I'm happy to be here. Yeah. What ingredient is that? That we are with people, even if we don't gain anything. The selfless character of nation building, of those who bring the good news. Kung magpabilin pagkamay ang self-interest, niya uh, dili ka makatransfer ng transcendental like Jesus. Matod sa kung ni kayo pa na ba pinarik kay ni Pastor Pablo ni, he was God, the Creator, the Owner, the Most Powerful. Yet ingon ni San Pablo. He abandoned everything and became like us. So the challenge for us, the good news is at the end, but in our common effort to take the challenge and truth of what the gospel tells us in the task of building our communities. And this is the message of the Eucharist. Whether you are, maybe you aren't Catholic, but the godly message to evoke in us and to those people we touch, that we are made according to the image of God. And therefore, each one, each one of us is capable to transcend, to do good, and able to forget ourselves. Then our common effort becomes so powerful because that the human effort becomes purer, and as human as we are, already we act like Jesus. In the Catholic service, there's a modern song that we sing. Tundakan pa ko buhok, 
wa na nga verb pero makatingala ko ng kanta karo kay bag-o na nga verb bag-o sa dictionary siya we are christified wa na sa una na pagbuk never use that uh, christify ang verb niya we are christified we become simply what we eat we become like Jesus and I'm sure this gathering has infused many angles the wisdom of business the great calling of information giving these are powerful forces but I'm happy that my little voice another component of more holistic approach to development is the voice of God in us I'd like to close I don't know if connect kini, by, by a story. I think most of you would know. I think you know the great actor Russell Crowe, the gladiator. Uh, that was dramatic. But it was also more uh, uh, well, ang young critics sa another movie, The Beautiful Mind. That's Russell Crowe. Mga kanikaya nga movie. Now he has finished filming The Pope's Exorcist. Filmed in almost entirely in Ireland, about to be released. Russell Crowe, very first class actor. I, I read somehow that he has some Christian background, but not anymore expressly Catholic. But for the movie, parts of prep for the movie, The Pope's Exorcist, he was invited to the Vatican to, to tour the Vatican. Para ma, ma prepare siya ba, ma, um, Vatican Pope's Exorcist. And in this particular tour, he was brought to the famous Sistine Chapel, I think many of you know, and where the frescoes of Michelangelo uh, are there, and partly one corner, very powerful, Michelangelo drew the frescoes inspired by the, by the right poem of Dante Alighieri, The Inferno, so that's very powerful paintings. Russell Crowe was brought into the city chapel. What I tourist, my special breathing ba. And Russell Crowe, this great actor, very worldly, very Hollywood, <laughs> Hollywoody kayo. He paused looking at the frescoes. And for seconds, minutes, and Russell Crowe said, I can't quote fully the Italian. Ingon si Russell Crowe, heard by the crew with him. Que facciamo nella vita, what we do in life, que facciamo nella vita, I forgot the important verb, ang, ang Italian verb, ecos. So, supply na ako. Que facciamo nella vita, ecos nella eternita. So, the English complete there. What we do in life, echoes in eternity. Why I'm happy to be here? Simply to inspire you a bit. What you do in Davao Light? Apo Aqua? What we do in PIA? What we do in the news? Where you are, kita mga in Florence Davao. Do not forget that the echo will not only reverberate in Davao. Que pachamo ni la vita that will echo into eternity. De sobra grabi namana historiahe. But simply it is possible kay angatung rhythm, angatung pitik, angatung dating, whether we like it or not, is not only kalibutanun. We are made according to the image of God. So whether we like it or not, kepachamo ni la vita, in whatever field we are, echoes into eternity. <laughs>